Globally, there are four big families of bikes. Road bikes, mountain bikes, hybrid bikes, and specialty bikes. Road bikes include racing, cyclocross, gravel, endurance, and touring bikes. Road bikes are good for multiple pavement, including fitness riding, commuting to work, long distance, even ride, touring, and racing. They usually have white light weighted drop bar handles that curve downward putting you in an aerodynamic position making them a good choice if you want to go fast or are most concerned with efficiently transferring your energy into making the bike move forward the they also allow for great for a greater number of riding and hand position that bikes with flat bars their more aerodynamic riding position, however, may put more strain on your back. Racing bikes. These light and aerodynamic bikes are built for going fast on the flats and ch charging up hills on race day or during a group ride with friends. Their frames are usually made from carbon fiber or aluminum and they have a slim down design that's intended to be as light as possible. Racing bikes generally have an aggressive geometry with steep angles that make them turn quickly. Cyclocross bikes. Cyclocross bikes are lightweight yet tough enough to deal with extreme conditions of cyclocross racing, which involves rider Riders taking laps around courses that may feature pavement, dirt trails, and grass. Most cyclocross bikes have a semi have semi knobby tires to handle the terrain challenges. Cyclocross bikes or CCX bikes are the perfect solution for a rider looking looking to transition from the street to trail without switching bikes. These cyclocross bikes are ready to take on whatever you might throw on them. Endurance bikes. Endurance bikes have many of the performance feature of racing bikes, but with frame with a frame geometry that puts you in a more comfortable riding position. They generally have taller head tubes, slacker angles with and slopping tu top tubes intended to reduce stress on your back and neck. They also often feature clearance for, for larger width tires, tires for versatility and a softer, mo more comfortable ride. Some endurance bikes have a flat handlebars for those who prefer a more heads up riding style. Touring bikes. Touring bikes have a few tweaks on the traditional road bike design that make them ideal for long distance bike tours. They are designed with 30 frames capable of carrying heavy loads on front of and rear racks and feature multiple attachment points so you can attach racks, fenders, water bottle, pumps, light and more. Many touring bikes have a longer wheelbase, the distance between the two wheel hubs, than other road bikes and they tend to have lower center of gravity which make them easier to control. Many touring bikes also, also have disc brakes for improved stopping power with hauling heavy loads on non-paved surface. Within touring bikes you'll find road touring bikes and adventure touring bikes which are made to handle gravel road or with wide or semi knobby tires mountain bicycles also called all terrain bicycles are designed for off-road cycling all mountain bicycles feature sturdy highly 
durable frames and wheels. Wide uh, gauge treated tires and cross and cross wide handlebars to help the rider resist sudden jolts. Some mountain bicycles feature various type of suspension system and hydraulic or mechanical disc brakes. Mountain bicycles gearing is often wide ranging from very ro very very low ratios to mid ratios typically with 16 to 28 gears. Although some riders prefer the mechanical simplicity and ease of maintenance on of single speed mountain bikes. Mountain bikes that are built to use 700C or ISO 622mm wheels are and smaller one and smaller ones. Downhill bikes are specialized type of mountain bike with a very strong frame, outer geometry, and long travel suspension. They are designed for use only downhill downhill courses. Free ride bicycles in this category usually have very strong frames and dual suspension with travel of 6 inches and up. They tend to have a shorter wheelbase than downhill bike but otherwise have very similar geometry and components. Whereas downhill racers tend to towards, tend towards strong and light compo components Extreme free riders tend not to worry about weight as much as strength of materials so it can withstand the huge drops and gaps that they typically perform. Fat bikes are mountain bikes with very wide 3.7 inches tires designed for riding on soft surface such as snow and sand. Hybrid bikes. This kind of bikes is a mix of mountain, road, and touring designs. Hybrid bikes mash up sp specific features to create do it all bikes with a wide range of uses. Generally, you get the skinny, speedy wheels of road bikes mixed with the quick turning powers of mountain bikes. Plus a dash of comfort with a plus plush saddle or even a shock absorb absorbent fork. They usually combine with a flat bar and disc brakes for responsive braking while bike commuting in any weather. Many commuter friendly models include racks, lightning system or fenders. No two hybrid bikes are exactly the same, so look for a bike equipped with features that make it suit to the type of riding you plan to do. Specialty bikes include cruiser bikes, cargo bikes, electric bikes, tricycle and folding bikes. Specialty bikes have very specific features and end uses that set them apart from other bikes. Inside types of bikes, you could find numerous combinations of different variants. Also, for very for every type of bike, you can build your own personalized bicycles. Your customized dream ma machine with your own with your choice of combinations of spare parts from different brand names to fit better your habits and wishes.